Hey guys, Games for Life here, and in today's video, we're gonna be unlocking the core of Glacio and awakening the planet. This will also allow us to get those little triptych things, so I'm really excited for that. I want to. Now, before we can get to the core, we need to unlock it. As you can see, there's no way for us to get down there while it's locked, so we'll have to head up to the surface and unlock some gates first. So let's do just that. In order to unlock the gates, we're gonna need a ton of power going constantly. That's why I'm gonna use some RTGs. We've got 8 RTGs right here, which should be good for 32 units per second. And I hope that's enough to unlock these gates. So let's head to the nearest gate and see if we can unlock it. So we'll have to get up close in there. Just like that. And now let's see if we can connect the rover. Alright, we did something. Let me dig a little bit around here because half of the gate is underground right now. And I'm guessing we need to provide power for at least 30 seconds. I think all of these should head down. So let's see. Alright, we activated it. Now we got all of these purple glowing shapes around it. Got a new mission as well, completed the mission. So there we go, we've got an odd stone right here. Alright, and once we have multiple gates unlocked and the core, then we will be able to fast travel between them whenever we want. So that's gonna be a cool addition to the game, but right now we've only got this node unlocked. So let's move over to the next gate and unlock that too. And we've reached the second gate, so let's go ahead and unlock this one too. And it should be the same as the last one. Plug it in, and there we go. Got this one unlocked too, and here's the odd stone. I'm curious, can we actually fast travel between them without having the core unlocked? Well, yeah, I guess we can. That was pretty interesting, but let's go back to our rover. Alright, I like fast traveling, this is pretty cool. I think we can already go and unlock the core, one gate should be enough, and we've got two, but just for the sake of it, let's go for three. Three is my lucky number. So here's the third one. I'll connect this up and there we go. I think it takes around 30 seconds for this to get activated. So that's why we are relying on RTGs. We could have brought some wind turbines but those might not have been constant. If the wind stopped blowing within those 30 seconds we would need to start from the beginning. So RTGs are the way to go but I think you can use generators if you don't have RTGs yet. And you can see we've got three of these unlocked. There are three more to go but I think I'll do these three off camera. Right now, let's head for the core. So I'll go back to base to craft some very important materials that we will need to unlock the core. Without those, there's no way we can unlock it. So let's head back to base. Alright, so we are back to the base and we can actually see an activated gateway chamber from here. So that's really nice. It adds a little bit of flavor to our base here. But now the important material we'll have to craft is diamond. I think I've got enough graphene for 4 diamonds. So we're gonna craft 4 diamonds for this. And the diamonds are gonna be really important for unlocking the core. But diamonds only work on Glacio. If you want to unlock a different core, then there is a specific material that core needs. So make sure you check that before going to the core. Or you can just go to the core once, see what you need, and then come back to your base and craft it. That works too. Either way, you'll need that resource to unlock the core. So for us here on Glacio, it's diamond, so let's take the four diamonds we've got, and we'll head down into the core. Alright, so here we are, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. And you can see the core is now open, so we can get into it. Um, almost. Let's jump out of the rover. Gravity is really weird around here. So I'll go into the core. Alright, so now gravity is this way. So we've got a center platform right here with three of these things. And you can see this is the diamond symbol. You can see it right here. 
it's the exact same symbol, this is how you know what material you need to feed into the core. So I'll go ahead and feed one diamond into here. And we got one of these geometric triptychs. This is really weird, it's an unclassified energy signature and it's embedded in a truncated pentacoron. I don't know what any of that means, but we'll take it. And since we've got multiple diamonds, why not get multiple of these? So we'll have four in total. And I think you can get infinite of these if you really want to. I'm not sure you need more than one, but let's see. So we put this in here now. And does anything happen? Maybe not. Alright, so I put one of these in each platform. And it doesn't seem to do anything really. So I'll take them back. But shouldn't there be an odd stone appearing from here? Hmm, let's see. I think we need to head to the ceiling. So let's see if we can walk on walls. Yes, we can. And we are on the ceiling now, that's great. So I think we need to put this in here. Yeah, that's how it works. All right. Okay, and we've activated Glacio. This is actually the first time I'm activating a planet. I know I've been playing Astroneer for all these years, but I just haven't focused on the story. So this is really exciting for me. I hope you are excited about this too. Now we've got an odd stone right here, we can gaze into it, and now we can teleport to all of our unlocked gateway chambers. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock these ones too, and then we've got the cosmic elevation one, which has to do with the ending of the game. So we'll need at least one of these from each planet for that. Right now I'm gonna keep some as souvenirs, because we got more than we needed. So now we can go ahead and fast travel, I'm not sure if the north one is next to our base, but let's see. This fast travel animation is actually really cool. I'm enjoying it a lot. This is not the one right next to the base. So let's see, maybe it's the equator one. Yeah, so this is the one next to the base. I'll actually have to go back to the core to recover our rover. But I'll do that off camera later. Let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to see more videos like this one where we unlock different planets. And then of course there's gonna be a big video with the ending of the game. Just let me know if you want to see the progressive videos throughout the evolution of the story. While you're down in the comment section make sure to click that like button as well. It really helps me out a lot and it lets me know what kind of videos you enjoy. So thank you for doing that. And yeah, that's it for this video. I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Estroneers.